Hello folks and welcome back to Ravenport. In this episode we sold and upgraded the farm. So we moved all the way up here and yeah we pretty much set up quite well. Got two sheds, got a workshop, got some greenhouses on the way. We've already got some fruits being produced that is good. But yeah with the help of the wood chips we sold over the winter period and the logs we was able to get fields 12, 13 and field 6. That is a huge change from the first fields we had on the main farm. It was really little it's busy fields that we had grass and got 170,000 litres of signage. But now I'm thinking bigger. So currently we're in March 2. By the time back at the time it's 1 there. My bad. I'm thinking let's do more signage because we've got a fermenter silo. That can do 60,000 litres a month. I'm not sure what the capacity is so. though. Well, together we can find out on that. At the moment there is no contract, so but we get contracts as soon as we head into April. Because yeah, my plan is we have let's park here a sec. Go to our crop candor. Because yes, I want to do a mixture of corn and soybeans. And maybe something like sorghum that because yeah, something different, get a bit of straw on that. I know I was very demiss uh, demissive of the baiters. First of all, with this series, but now we've got the huge fields. I'm thinking we could get a baby now at some point, and boom, we'll be laughing. And yeah, if we say do sorghum, we'll be harvesting that in September. I don't think we get sorghum straw. Yeah, I can't read unless we do oats, but that's gonna be next month. And nope, won't be able to do that. But yeah, if we do grass, so plant grass now in March, that'll be ready to cut in May. Get that cut, get that put into the silos ready. Hopefully you don't need any other silos than that. Because yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, do corn, soybeans. Then we can do... Ooh, technically we can do cotton. Because we'll hit August and September, and that's when we can start leasing equipment. So if we lease a cotton harvester... Actually, that may be a good idea for us to get some quick money in over the winter periods. Obviously at the moment we don't have no productions available. Actually, how much would a cotton harvester be? So if I go to our equipment, under vehicles, not enough money. Actually what I can do is just temporarily put some money in. There we go. And yeah, go to vehicles, go to column technology. That's going to cost us 24 grand to lease and 10 grand per hour. So mm, that's going to be interesting. And turns with work with six meters work with. I'm sure there's like the modded John Deere ones we can get, but yeah, I'm not sure. But and also that's just reminded me of one of the rules I set with this series is we got to pay half of this thing off. So. I'm thinking, depends on how much grass we can get. If we get a decent amount of grass from these three fields, then that will save us up. Then come August and September, I show you, get this processed in May. Come summer, and that will be golden actually, because then we can pay half the loan off before that year is up. She yeah, turns on, warm up. Yeah, let's go and repair everything. I do have plans for the pallets that get them stored somewhere, but at the moment they're good. So you've got oranges, apples, lemons, and pineapple. So yeah, I'm thinking let's just get a crack up into grass work so we're not just gonna have enough seed in that because we don't really want to get any more seed in. However, I do think it's all gonna be worth it, so over the coming months, what's one thing that's going to be important for us is actually contracts. I know we did be doing a lot of contracts, but yeah, at the moment we can do some more contracts, get to that quarter of a million pound mark. Worst case scenario, if we fall short of that, and why are we missing bits already? Is it because we're hitting the road? Uh, maybe. But yeah, my thinking is, actually, it could be the 
undulations with the terrain. That could be a problem, but yeah, it's not. Pull the edge from the road a bit. Don't need to go right to the edge, but yeah, as I was saying, if we fall short of that quarter million pound mark, there are some cheap fields we can have, so. I think for one, we discovered we can have a cheap field up here. And is there any trees by the green mill? Go into drone mode. Uh, yeah, there are a couple of trees here, so we can purchase this green mill area. For 24 grand, buy the devourer and the trailer. That's going to cost 50 grand up front. Because remember, we can't lease until August and September of this year. But yeah, I'm thinking, if we get these trees chopped down, <coughs> yeah, easily we'll have enough money. Yeah, like some big trees here. That's a 20,000 year tree there. Like the tall, massive ones, they're going to be absolutely a beauty to have. But yeah, so that's the plan at the moment. But first of all, we need to get this drilled. And this is going to take us some time. So yeah, have a look here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to take us a while, but I think overall it's going to be worth it. But yeah, let's get this grass work done, and then afterwards we start with the rolling. And there we go, so it is just after 2 o'clock, we're just doing the last bit of the drilling. I did get a worker with our pickup and try to do some of the rolling. If we have a look at the PDA, yeah, first of all, went actually not too bad. So if we go to mulching, see what's been mulched. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> it needs rolled in, so there we go, so yeah. Workers on this bit, they've done this bit. I did try to get them started doing this section down here, but because I is so much of a sink going downhill, yep, the worker was struggling a little bit, and not sure if I showed in that episode, but we did sell our old roller. So I thought, oh, let's get something a bit different. So I'm using the multi roller, Power Roll 1230 HD, and yeah, 12.3 meters meters working with at 50 miles an hour so not too shabby and yeah in terms with the drill itself this is our second bag we had to put in so yeah that's why money's gone down quite a bit it's about 1600 for seeds and the rest were for the alien workers so I think now that's the hard part done I think now all we need to do is roll ourselves I think before we start the rolling, let's fill up with fuel. Actually, what about repair? How much is that? The tractor or is it the drill that's heavily worn? Yeah, the tractor itself is not that worn. Only 90% worn. Compared to the drill, which is twice as much. So, yeah. Actually, how many hours does it have on it? Ooh, yeah, 37 hours. Yeah, 37 hours. 
Yeah, that's quite high, that is. You wonder why it's wearing out so quickly here, but... i try to get it used a little bit, it's not too fast on that. For the best part, we've got most of it done, so... Overall, not too worried. I think, yes, what we'll do is... We'll get this repaired, first of all. Actually, don't need to worry about repairing, just... Get this hose off, put away, and then we'll start doing the drill. Not drilling. We've done the drilling, we need to do the rolling. So, looking at the repair costs, actually, overall, ain't too bad. Might as well just repair both of them whilst we're here. We'll fill up with fuel, so it's got a little bit of fuel left. And yeah, rolling now, that won't take us too long, maybe another hour or so at most. So yeah, in fairness, the worker's done quite a bit. And I had to be on flat down, because even like, on the sleep bits to the left over there on that field, the worker was struggling a bit, so... Makeup has done a good job. Especially where I've accidentally spent two grand on upgrading the engine, so... Cancel the worker. Yeah, for some reason we set the worker off on this. Does lift the back end up. I know that's for like auto load and stuff and that. Because there is an option to auto load and that. Actually, does that have it enabled now? Can't tell, does it say? See, I was thinking, have a look at that. Because if we can take our pallets down, then rather than have to worry about a front loader, we can just auto load it all on. I think if it does also those, it also those only one item at a time, so overall, it ain't gonna make a huge difference. But yeah, I got good ideas for the pallets and that, where we can store them, with a very helpful mod that has been released very recently, so I'll use that to store our pallets, but I'll see how many we get. Because, yeah, I knew that we could look at the prices in that episode, didn't we? Because what we need to do is make juice. Making juice is good. And also, we need to save 100 grand for the corn dryer as well. Yeah, juice we're getting about 5 grand. Compared to about 12, 1300 normally, so. Yeah, we could do with some juicers and that. But again, that's all the money we need. We need 40 grand for that. We need a hundred grand for the corn dryer, and at least around 30, 40, 50 grand for a new tractor. And that's definitely pops up in the used market, which something has, but that's a 305 horsepower tractor for 84 grand. Or well, we're standard weight, 79 grand, so actually that ain't too bad. No, 79 grand for a 300 horsepower tractor. But what's the usage? Yeah, 36.7 hours compared to our 12.8 hours, so... Even if we trade this in, that switch. Seeing that, we could do. That's thing, does it have a front loader option? It does, so... Let's say all that, 3.8 hitch. 85 grand compared to 75 grand. Well, that's all including the paint and that, so paint we get about another 20 grand or so from it in terms of value for the machinery. So, all in all, it does sort of balance out a little bit, but nah, for the most part, we'll just keep as we are, like the Deutsche Fars and that. I know I use this on my spring. <laughs> There's a reason why I'd use on that series, just because it was the theme of a Deutsch Far Farm. But now I'm looking at big tractors with good values and at good prices. And yeah, so stub check what we need to do now. So yeah, pretty much all this section here. So yeah, as I mentioned before, this will take us about another hour or so. So I'll see you folks then when we're done here. And then yeah. Maybe start wrapping up for the day. And there we go. We've got the rolling done. We skipped ahead till April. 
So yeah, we've done three contracts. So we did two scene contracts, so 15 and 23, and we fertilized 16. So quick is paid off. So let's go 42. Wait a minute, we had a fertilizing contract done. So where's that? I haven't completed that contract, have I? No, April income, nothing. So. Ah, oh, but I was glitched out again. So that was for 1600 quid, dollars, whatever. So. What I'm going to do is pay that. It was about 1660 or something like that. I just thought, yep. Yeah, something now popped up. Nice. But. Yeah, that's happened. The second time now it's happened on here, like the fertilizing contracts glitching out, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But for now, we'll drop the cedar off. And yeah, actually, how's our greenhouses doing? They are looking good, so plenty of space, I'm assuming. Yep, tons of space still, and Got enough water, got enough manure. Do have manure here if needed. So yeah, with those contracts done, we're up to 13 grand now. And yeah, we still need to keep our earn money, get that buffer in. And yeah, I've installed a new mod for with the cotton situation. I thought, yeah, sure we had a mod that had a bigger headers because the base one is six meters. And this one comes with a 6.8 meter header, or 10.5 meter. Go with a gigantic 11.4 meter. And actually, in terms of head cost in that, that's 8, 9, 13. So the difference between those two and that one with the bigger header is nothing. That says 10.5 meters. Well, that's saying 11.4 meters. So, of our price range, like that was like 24 grand or two, it was initially. So, I'm guessing that's going to be about 40 grand easily. But, yeah, we'll get these grass fields taken care of. I sure no, don't need to do this size. Well, technically we do, there's bits here and there we've missed. Oh, not so much missed, bits that was, what was it, meadow grass? But yeah, yeah, not sure how we got this state here, like, I thought it'd be a good plan to plow, fertilize, then seed. Then afterwards, put another application of fertilizer on after we've rolled, but that didn't happen, so we're left with this, but to be fair, this won't really take us that long to do, and we'll get some in between episodes, maybe. So yeah, I've just recorded, I've just finished recording this. I've recorded the next episode on Court Farm. And then it's Friday night, so I'll start working on Evergreen Valley, perhaps. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, uh, what's it, Vinch Survival. As I mentioned before, I'm tempted to put on the back burner on that. There's also more videos I want to do now, like different kind of video types on mainly farm sim, but also try sort of slightly dip, dip around here and there in other games and that. Haven't quite picked what ones yet. But yeah, there's something I want to do is a bit, bit of a mixture, it makes the content up a little bit. But yeah, that could be something to chat about in another video. But for now, we are fertilizing. Again, this ain't gonna take us too long to do between episodes. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But where you to do? Hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is from Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all. Uh, very soon.